Hi, welcome to Programming with Mesh. Prepare in advance for your interview with the best possible React Native interview questions and answers. In this part, we will review the best questions at the senior level. Describe Flux versus Redux architecture. The Flux architecture is based on the following components. Action enables data passing to the dispatcher. Dispatcher coordinates actions and updates to stores, store or stores, serves as a container for the app state and logic. View, displays the model in the UI in the context of React components. Redux is a library which implements the idea of Flux but in quite a different way. Redux architecture introduces new components like Reducer, logic that decides how your data changes exist in PU functions. Centralized store holds the state object that denotes the state of the entire app. What does a stylesheet.create do and what are refs in React Native? The stylesheet.create function in React Native is used for the following. It validates the keys and registers them to React. It creates a stylesheet style reference from the specified object. It allows you to send the style only once through the bridge while referring to all subsequent users through ID. Refs is short form for reference and used to access underlying DOM nodes or React elements within a React component. What is async storage? How and when do you use it? Async storage is a simple, asynchronous, unencrypted by default module that allows you to persist data offline in React Native apps. The persistence of data is done in a key value storage system. There are numerous scenarios where this module can be beneficial. Persisting data in a mobile app has benefits such as when the user restarts the app, the data or the setting variables being available to the user in the state they left before closing the app. For example, with this code, we save the user's age with the identifier of a storage key. And with this code, we retrieve the user's age with that key. We use async storage when persisting non-sensitive data across app runs, persisting Redux state, persisting GraphQL state, string global app-wide variables. And we don't use it for token storage and the secrets. What are the differences between class and functional component? The essential differences between the class component and functional component are Syntax The declaration of both components is different. A functional component takes props and returns React element, whereas the class components require to extend from React. State the class component has a state, while the functional component is a stateless. Of course, the functional component can use the state hook. Life cycle. The class component has a life cycle, while the functional component doesn't have a life cycle. Why should we use TypeScript in React Native? With TypeScript, it's easy to define prop types, making the code much easier to read and use and this will accompany by IntelliSense support plus static type checking. When a developer is working on a project and wants to maintain the project for a long period of time, then the user should need TypeScript. In order to use the TypeScript, user should need to configure the TypeScript because it gives an option to configure the compiler. Users can configure the TypeScript as per their requirements and can effectively prioritize the type of errors. What is the use of the arrow function? The use of arrow functions in React Native is to help reduce your application's memory consumption. It's done by reducing the CPU time required to iterate the overloops to generate the components necessary for your lists. Here's an example of arrow function in render. What is the difference between Shadow DOM and Virtual DOM? Shadow DOM creates small pieces of the DOM object, which has its own isolated scope as they represent. It's a tool that is used in building the apps and websites that are based on components. 
It comes in small pieces and doesn't represent the whole document object model. Virtual DOM creates a copy of the whole DOM object. It's a concept of DOM which is being used by ReactJS. It's done to improve the performance of the UI libraries. How to call web service in React Native? React Native provides the fetch API for networking needs. To fetch content from an arbitrary URL, we can pass the URL to fetch. Here's an example to call a web service to React Native with fetch. Networking is an inherently asynchronous operation. Fetch methods will return a promise that makes it as straightforward to write code that works in an asynchronous manner. What are animations in React Native? The animation is a method in which images are manipulated to appear as moving objects. React Native animations allow you to add extra effects which provide great user experience in the app. We can use it with React Native API, animated.parallel, animated.decay, and animated.stagger. React Native has two types of animation, which are given below. Animated. This API is used to control specific values. It has a start and a stops methods for controlling the time-based animation execution. Layout Animated. This API is used to animate the global layout transactions. Describe timers in React Native application. Set timeout, clear timeout. There may be business requirements to execute a certain piece of code after waiting for some time duration or after a delay. Set timeout can be used in such cases. Clear timeout is simply used to clear the timer that is started. Set interval, clear interval. Set interval is a method that calls a function or runs some code after a specific intervals of time as is specified through the second parameter. A function or block of code that is bound to an interval executes until it's stopped. To stop an interval, we can use the clear interval method. Set immediate, clear immediate. Calling the function or execution as soon as possible. This code displays the alert dialog immediately. Clear immediate is used for cancelling the immediate actions that were set by set immediate. Well, I hope you have a successful interview. In addition, you can use the React Native tutorial series on the channel to improve your technical skills. In the next part, we will review the expert level together.